This is Awkward Recurrence for Awkward Entertainment. So we're going to be talking about Brian Laundrie's parents. Now people or the audience, those who watch the news, they believe his parents know more than they're leading on to. So they believe the parents are hiding him. They also believe Brian Laundrie told his parents or confessed to his parents he killed his fiance Gabby Petito. Now, I'm going to read from some I'm going to read from a timeline of events in this case. Then I'm going to play a video and commentate throughout it. So we're going to start with the timeline, a very short timeline of where we are now. So September 1st, Brian Laundry returns to Florida to his parents' house with a white van without Gabby Petito. Now, Gabby Petito's parents had last received a test late August. Late, late August. One of the tests, they say they don't believe it was her. I guess this was around the 29th, I believe, they received the last test from her. I don't believe it was her for whatever reason. Ten days later, it took ten days. Ten days later, the parents finally report their daughter missing. Ten days. Ten days. So it's September 1st. No contact. September 2nd, no contact. Between the 1st and the 11th, I believe um, Petito's parents tried to contact Brian and maybe he wasn't cooperative. Maybe they couldn't reach him. Maybe he told them she was somewhere else. But I'm going to go with they couldn't contact Brian between the 1st and the 10th because there's no more information out there of what was going on between these families between the 1st and the 10th. Let's get to the second one. But yeah, it took 10 days to report their daughter missing. That's suspicious in itself. Uh, September 16th, the investigation continues. Um, police wanted to speak with Laundry, but the, he had an attorney. So the family attorney was doing all the speaking, and the attorney said Brian Laundry will remain in the background because, once again, the attorney... W- was doing all the speaking. September 9th, 17th, Laundry goes missing. So, Brian's parents say they haven't seen him since Tuesday, September 14th, when he went on a hike. He was reported missing September 17th. So, again, beforehand, he wasn't cooperating with police. His attorney was, so he wasn't doing interviews with the police. His attorney was giving police information. That's what I get from this article. Let me find out. Prescott asking the public, had the police officer said a little more about his frustrated that he isn't being helpful. And the police were frustrated he wasn't being helpful. But also, they were talking to the lawyer. They had to have been talking to the lawyer. Now let's let's get into this video. There is something else I want to say about the first and the eleventh. Again, like you, you waited ten days to report your daughter missing. Um, I believe Brian Laundry told his parents. Um, Gabby Petito either went home or she was at a friend's house. We had a big argument. I dropped her off. I'm using the van. Between. The time Brian got home and went missing, people report everything was normal. Like, he was acting normal. He was taking bike rides with his mom. He was just normal. So, I don't think the parents were are in on this. I don't think they, con- they are conspirators. I don't think he told his parents he murdered this girl. I believe he told his parents a lie. Like, I dropped her off somewhere. Now, why? Why wasn't the parents of Petito talking to the parents of Laundry? Like, forget talking to Brian. Why weren't the parents talking to each other? 
And I believe maybe they were. I believe maybe they were. And the parents told, Laundry's parents told Petito parents what Brian had told them. They dropped, he, they, um, he dropped their daughter off to a friend's or something. That's the only reason I can think why it took 10 plus days to report their daughter missing. Because she hadn't contacted them in between September 1st and September 10th. So, I, again, I believe they were told something of the lightning that your daughter is safe. I dropped her off. All right, let's get to this video. This is about Dog the Bounty Hunter. This is going to be funny. Dog the Bounty Hunter visited it, um, the Laundry family today. Let's just start this video. You have people in the comment section claiming this has turned into a circus before I get started. They say, under the video with Dog the Bounty Hunter, people saying this has turned into a circus. He's doing this for publicity. Such and so, such and so. I know there's a 20K bounty out on him. <laughs> but this is a circus. It's TV. What do you expect? This is It's going to be a circus. I have to say this is a joke for legal reasons, but anybody else feel like they should just torture the Landry family until they give up Brian? I mean, they really didn't give a shit what he did to Gabby, and they probably aided and abetted him, too. And that was from TikTok, so you got people with their own different opinions like I do. I don't believe the parents knew anything. Yeah, some people who think the parents knew things. So she says... uh. It's a joke, but do you think people, we should just torture his parents until they give up Brian? He probably aided and abetted him. They probably aided and abetted him. No, no, no. The, the parents knew nothing but what Brian told them, and I believe Brian told them a bunch of lies. I believe Brian did harm his girlfriend or his fiance because if... She was okay. Not if she was okay. If he really dropped her off somewhere safe and took the van, why would Brian go missing himself? And why would he run himself? And why would he just not go do an interview with the police instead of letting the lawyer lawyers talk to the police? So, no, no. Let's let's continue. And this is just state authorities have been shut out from speaking with Brian. And again, the attorney was doing all the talking for Brian. And the search at Carlton uh, Reserve, which I think they're about to wrap up their search and they're not going to find anything. And that's what it's looking like. This is neighbors claiming. So after Brian came home September 1st, um, the family went capping, and they packed up the the camper and went out. That's all it says. So basically, everything was normal when he got home. Family went camping. Um, Brian told the family, Gabby is safe. I dropped her off at a friend's, such and so, such and so. I'm saying that's what he told his parents. That's not what the neighbors are saying. Because these are the neighbors telling their story. And this is South Park's parody of Dog the Bounty Hunter. And let's continue this out. Let's just continue this video out. Okay. I'm done making my video anyways. Dude, my brother's in Milan. There's nothing I can do. No, they haven't left yet. Their flight is tomorrow morning. How do you know that? I had Beth check out their Travelocity account. Who's Beth? Beth is my bitch. I've put a whole crew together, bruh. I'm gonna get that hallway defiling slut no matter what it takes. Are you in? So, 
Federal agents searched the laundry's home Monday, which was over a week ago, Monday for nearly eight hours, questioning the parents and collecting evidence that could help them and find out what happened to Gabby Petito. The manhunt led them to a nearby nature reserve, but investigators found nothing. I guess they're still, well, they are still searching. I don't believe they're going to find anything. Uh, in the earlier video, I said they would find him dead in that reserve. So it's looking like they're not going to find anything at all. Um, so right here, this says the parents have been cooperating with authorities. Brian Laundry parents have been cooperating with authorities. They have been talking to authorities. So from September 1st to September 10th, when Gabby Petito parents didn't report her missing, they they... They did have contact with this family, and this family told them something of, like, she's safe. The dialogue of she's safe. Because what parent, what parent wastes 10 days to report their daughter missing? No contact on the phone, no nothing. Then, then again, I know I'm repeating myself, but then again, again, one of the test messages... Gabby Petito sent her parents late August. The parents say they don't believe it was from Gabby Petito. So, if you suspected something had happened at the end of August, why'd you wait so long to report her missing? But yes, the parents were cooperative. They go dog the bounty hunter, lights, camera, action, walking up to the Walking up to the Petito, not Petito, the laundry residence. Gonna go knock on the door. I, I guess his publicist or his handler told him to um, do this for the case. I, they still, I, I still don't know who called the police yesterday and reported shots fired around the laundry residence. So the police haven't released that information on who called the police and filed a false report. And, which again is all part of censorship of the internet. You know they always talk about um, misinformation, disinformation, conspiracy theories, and they try to link true crime podcasts to that agenda. Or well, the agenda of censoring those online. So, Dog the Bounty Hunter is leaving. That is all mainstream media taking pictures, taking pictures, taking pictures. So they're getting they're getting material for their shows. And he and that is it. That is it. Alright. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this out. Um do I wanna add anything to this? Um the timeline, September first to September eleventh. They haven't found Brian Lundry at the reserve. The parents are innocent. So the people, the reason people think the parents know more than they do is because uh, Gabby Petito's dad. So Gabby Petito's dad said Brian wasn't cooperating. The cops were also saying Brian wasn't cooperating. So the parents of Gabby and the police never cleared up whether the parents were cooperating. They just said Brian wasn't cooperating. And they had to, like, like the parents and the police and mainstream media, they have to highlight the lawyer was cooperating with police. The laundry's lawyer was cooperating with police. Even though Brian was in the background, they still had contact with the lawyer, giving statements to the police on behalf of Brian. They, they have to highlight that. But, but that's the reason you have people who watch the news claim the parents know more than they do, that they're involved and ate him in the bed in Brian. So that's that. That's that. It's mainstream media narrative. That's that. Anything else I want to add to this? So uh, the parents are innocent. They do not know nothing. Dog the bounty hunter is hilarious. Lights camera action. Part of a script. Um. Uh,
Oh, that was Dog the Bounty Hunter script to go knock on the door. I guess Dog the Bounty Hunter want that $20,000. Wasn't it a lawyer and a mother or two who put up money, totaling $20,000, um, to anyone who can find Brian? So, ent- enters the actor Dog the Bounty Hunter. Hunter. So, his show was scripted, believe it or not. More scripted than real. It's TV, people. Like, this is TV. Um, what else? My next video, I'll get, in, I, I'll get into um, Gabby Petito's friend in my next video. That's it, people. That's it. I ain't gonna keep everybody too long. Um, I'm in this out. This has been Awkward Occurrence for Awkward Entertainment. And I will see you in the next video.